a big what's up to everybody welcome back to the channel we have some more breaking news from the philadelphia 76ers your philadelphia 76ers are philadelphia 76ers the sixers have made two new coaching hires the first one is sam cassell and the second one is dan burke elson brand during his press conference same with josh harris said they were going to make moves and i didn't believe them at least not to this extent but they have proved us wrong a commendable job by the organization let's take a deep dive into this john so sam cassell um he is a former player who is known for his offense of prowess. He played as a point guard in the league for over 16 years in eight different teams. And as far as coaching go, he was first an assistant coach with the Washington Wizards from 2009 to 2014. So he probably had a lot of influence on John Wall and Bradley Bill. After that, he went to coach with Doc Rivers on the Clippers from 2014 till now, 2020. He is a three-time NBA champion, which holds a lot of weight, especially to players who are going to be, you know, learning under him and from him. He is the new wave of old players, old NBA players becoming coaches. It must be noted that Sam Cassell was in the running to become the Houston Rockets coach as well as the next Clippers coach. So to even be in consideration, for those two NBA head coaching jobs says that Sam Cassell is the real deal. The second man who was hired by the Sixers is Dan Burke. A little bit of background on Mans. He has been in the league for a very long time. He first started off with the Portland Trail Blazers in 1989 as a video scout and he worked his way up to the bench. Then in 1997, he joined the Pacers coaching staff where he worked under the living legend, Larry Bird one of the top basketball players of all time. So he does hold that in the back of his mind. He is known for his defensive prowess as well as opponent preparation skills. 31 years in the league says something. Him being present and watching the different eras of play of NBA basketball can be beneficial for our young players because they can, you know, infuse some of those um, tactics, if you will, into their game right now. It must be noted that this guy was a Philadelphia 76er hater at one point, namely who isn't, so it's all good, but I'll show you this clip where he talks smack about the team and Joel Embiid. <laughs> Let me know what you think about, about it. To me, that's the takeaway. And, and, and one, because of Philly, it's because where we want to go. Yeah, I hate that team. I think Embiid gets away with a bunch of crap the league ignores. And uh, it would have been a good one to just walk away from. <laughs> I am not sure how, but he's going to have to come back from that. At least Joel is giving him his cosign. So what does this mean for 76ers basketball moving forward? Honestly, and I took a long time trying to connect these dots, but I think these moves are specifically for Benjamin Simmons' growth as an NBA point guard. Sam Cassell can teach Ben the tricks and trades of the position because we all know Benjamin Simmons is going into his fourth year. He still is basically a baby in the sense of knowing how to play the NBA game. Essentially, well, maybe he's a he's a toddler. I'll give him that. He is a metaphorical toddler. <laughs> People often forget that Ben is only 24. At 24, last year he already had the most assists on three-point makes. Defensive first team, all NBA selection the leader and steals you can check this right now the list goes on and on these coaches will most definitely put ben to work maybe doc thinks sam cassell can actually get into ben's head and get him to shoot or to change up his play style and of course dan burke another defensive minded specialist um, going along with dave yeager they can add on to the defensive beast that ben simmons is all ready I really believe that these moves are specifically for this player's growth and development. So no, he is not getting traded. That would be imprudent as hell. So with all of that being said, let's look at the team as a whole. Like, Let's just look at the new faces in the 76ers organizational structure. You have Doc Rivers, Dave Yeager, Daryl Morey, who just came, Jameer Nelson, um, two new front office guys and Peter Dinwiddie as well as Prosper Karangwa. And now you add these two men, Sam Cassell and I'm blanking on his name and Dan Burke. 
this has been an A plus off season, like off the bat. We have to admit that there was any other NBA franchise making these, these front office moves. We will be clamoring at the bit saying, oh, they have won the off season. Of course, the national media and most NBA fans are not gonna say that about the Sixers. We have to give credit where credit is due. I am in the process of editing this video right now, and there was more new, smaller news, but Sixers news nevertheless. Doc Rivers has hired two extra people for his staff. The first one is Pop I Jones. Um, he is a recent Pacers assistant. He's a former NBA player, about 11 years in the league where he was known for his rebounding and defensive skills. And the second hire is Brian Adams, who is the former head coach of the Agua Caliente Clippers G League team. He has a lot of history with Doc Rivers, formerly being a part of his Clippers and Celtics coaching staffs. As you can see, we are now the Philadelphia 70 Pacer Clippers. <laughs> That was corny, but I'm still going to keep it in this video. <laughs> so what do you think of these moves? This video was not supposed to be this long, but I just got done recording the Daryl Morey video and I'm hyped and now I want to talk Sixers nonstop, but we have to go. So let me know what you think about all these moves down below. What is your favorite offseason season move to this date? What do you think these hires will do for the team, et cetera, et cetera? Thank you everybody for pulling up. We only have 44 more days left to the first sign of 2021 NBA basketball. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and do your thing. Sharing my page with a Sixers fan. As always, them bulls are mad because the process worked. My name is Kayeen, and I will see you next time. Peace.